I have been waiting to feature this floor plan. I've been waiting for this exact home to be completed so we could do a video tour of you of this amazing Alcott floor plan. Stay tuned. everybody, it's Amy with Heart and Home Orlando and I am so excited to show you this floor plan. This is one of my clients' homes. They actually just closed on it, so there's a few little things that they've started to move in. But the reason I wanted to show you this is because it is a beautiful floor plan. In fact, it is the only one-story floor plan that they are building here in this community. The community is Silverleaf and Meritage is the builder. This is a beautiful Alcott floor plan. This one is done as a single story. We're going to talk a little bit about the structural options, but before we do, I want to show you the exterior of this. They chose the exterior elevation that gives you the tile roof as well as the stone facade as well as the nice big porch. It is really truly beautiful. This is a great floor plan and you're going to see the versatility of not only the floor plan, the exterior elevations, but the structural options as well. So at its core, this is a one-story floor plan, 2,080 square feet. So it's a nice size, generous one-story floor plan. Now this one is going to show as a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath home. That half bath is honestly probably my favorite part of this, not because it's a bathroom, but because they had enough forethought to add that. So this one shows as a three bedroom, two and a half bath plus the flex space, but this also could be done as a four bedroom, three bath, and it can also be done with a bonus room added up above with an additional half bath. Okay. So Let's take a look at this. So as we go through the home, so the way this builder is working, they have design packages or collections, they call them. They are all beautiful top to bottom. They've got their own versatility built into each of them. This uh, design collection is called the Modern Rustic. So as we go through, take a look, they chose the LVP flooring. There's also a tile flooring choice. They chose a painted harbor cabinet, but there's also a darker cabinet. So We'll talk about that a little bit as we go through, but this is the flex room. So this actually has double French doors right here that's gonna take you into this flex space, which is right here at the front of the home. They're gonna be utilizing this as an office space, which is a really great spot. You've got the beautiful light from the front of the home coming in through the two windows. They opted to add the additional four recessed lights. So again, even with builders where there are design collections or you know limited structural options there are still great ways for you to kind of customize it and make it work so added four recessed lights there so before we go into the powder bath i want to point out the foyer this foyer has a really beautiful tray ceiling right here this is a very wide open space right here at the front entrance but you also have a hallway with two more tray ceilings and a nice wide hallway and i like to point that out because sometimes those things get missed when you walk in you know you're kind of looking at eye level what's around me don't forget to look up because there's some beautiful architectural tidbits up there. So right back behind me is the powder bath. So this is your half bath. I really like this in this floor plan because you've got two guest or children's bedrooms over here that are going to have a, be a bathroom that services both of them, a full bath with a bath uh, shower combo. But having that extra half bath up front, I just think is really nice for just the function of the home. Keep in mind, if you did this as a four bedroom home, that flex space that we saw up above as the office would be the fourth bedroom and that powder bath would become a full bath so it does change the dynamic of it bed bath count but the layout is essentially the same let's take a quick peek over here so over here is going to be your two car garage entrance they come in right here they have this great drop zone so a nice little spot that they've um, added right here this well they actually didn't add it it comes with it you have the beautiful cabinet and the counter space a great space to kind of drop your stuff for the day over here is the laundry room another one of my favorite features of this Alcott floor plan is take a look at how large this laundry room is now they opted to add this package to have the cabinets and the counters uh, in the in the laundry room you can get this without you will have just the plain wire shelving but adding this feature is really nice in fact there's an option where you can have a laundry sink right here as well. They opted to just keep the, the, the counter space there. I think that would function a little bit better for them. Directly across the hallway from that laundry room and the entrance from the garage is going to be the two bedrooms and the full bath. So this is one of those bedrooms. Nice bedroom. All of these are generously sized. I don't have the, the dimensions in front of me, but essentially like 11 by 11-ish bedrooms. Um, nice big bedroom. Tall ceilings, by the way. They also added the structural option of the taller 8-foot doors. So you're going to see that throughout this 
this one as well. That is a structural option that you can add. They also have a nice big closet over here as well. Now directly across the hall is another bedroom, but let's take a quick peek over here at this bathroom. Again, looking at the modern rustic um, design package, you can see they chose the Harbor uh, cabinets and they actually chose the darker hardware. And I'm loving that on this, not only on the door hinges and the door knobs, but all the faucets and fixtures have that darker contrast and I love it. So this is another bedroom. So this is gonna be bedroom number two, bedroom one, bedroom two. This is gonna be utilized as another kind of office slash work slash guest space for them. This one is really nice because it has a nice big walk-in closet. So nice big amount of space here for closet and storage. There is carpet in the bedrooms, but everything else as an option that they added was to take that LVP flooring that was an upgrade, uh, part of the design package, but the higher end a part of that to extend that all the way through the front door, all the way to the back. Now here we are into the main hub of the home. You can see this pass through, which is really nice because it's kind of designated the front part of the home. And then here's the main living part of the home. So let's talk about this kitchen first because I just love it. So again, they chose the modern rustic. Now the nice thing with the design collections is the versatility within each collection. There's two different cabinet choices. There's two different backsplash choices. There's different options that you can choose within that package, all of which are color coordinated. So no matter which one you pick, you're not going to be disappointed. And I think that in a situation where builders are doing design packages, this is a really smart way to do it because the really, the most difficult and anxiety ridden part about going to a design center is wondering what it's going to look like when it's all put together. This is a home run. So the modern rustic, um, as far as the design option, but then look at the, the lighting fixtures and things like that, that they chose. This is not part of the modern rustic, but this was a collection that they chose and it really complements it well. So let's take a look at the actual function of the kitchen. You have a nice big island, large enough to seat two or three people. I know for a fact that they're going to look for a third stool, but they were only sold in sets of two. So we're trying to get that extra set, but they have beautiful um, space here, eating space at the counter. And I also like that you have the, the counter space to the right and to the left of the stove. These glass cabinets also part of that package. Really beautiful. I love that nice little architectural decor piece of it. Then you can also see your microwave. These are vented to the outside. This is how you can tell if it is vented to the outside. You're going to have this little vent and then the cover around it, which means that if you're cooking something on your stove or in your microwave, it's going to go to the exterior. Another spot over here, great little spot for their coffee maker, kind of perfect size for that. And a nice big corner pantry. So take a look at the pantry space as well. People always say, how big is the pantry? It's pretty big. Now, again, just as a note, when you go to the design center, you can still customize. They customized with drawers here where it could have been cabinets. They've also got spaces where there's pull out drawers. So there's pull out opportunity there. They have the trash can. There's all sorts of things that you can still kind of customize within it. So beautiful kitchen, A plus in my opinion. Over here is going to be the, the informal, the day-to-day -day dining area. And you know, this is a table. I know they said they, they just kind of borrowed this for a period of time until they get their own new furniture. And one of the things we all noticed was how big this space is. When you put a table that easily seats four, how much more space? space you have in here. So there's a really a large amount of space. So this will accommodate whatever size table you want or need, whether it's smaller and more intimate like this, or whether you want it to be able to six more like six to eight people, plenty of space right here. Also, I love that this has windows coming from everywhere, the two windows from the back. And then of course the slider that's going to take you to the lanai. And then before we go out to the lanai, let's take a look over here. So this is the main hub of the home too, right? Beautiful kitchen over there, dining area over here. And then all of this space over here for your day-to-day -day living, right? This is where your sofa or your sectionals are going to be. You note here that they added the floor outlet. So when they get their furniture, they'll be able to easily put, um, whether it's uh, operated like reclining chairs or whether they need to charge phones or computers or whether it's just for the side table lamps. Nice to have the floor outlet over here. Now I will say priorities, right? They've already mounted the TV, no furniture, but the TV is up. Cracks me up every time, but priorities, right? So a lot of space here. So once they get all of this furniture, there is a really tremendous amount of space right here for both furniture, for storage, for built-ins, great spot. Now take a quick peek out over here. You can see that it does have a lanai space. It is a covered lanai. So they're going to be screening this in and then they'll be able to really utilize that space, especially this coming up time of year with these sliders that can be open with the screen, all of that beautiful breeze kind of just coming in. Now back
back over here is the primary bedroom. And the reason I like this, again, the location is really ideal. The guest or kids' bedrooms are kind of still within an earshot, but not right beside you. So you've got that privacy. Really large primary bedroom. And again, we added the extra recess lights. By the way, they also added extra recess lights in the family room and in the dining room. Again, those are packages that you can choose from, but it's not included. But you have the ability to add that. So nice amount of space. Again, priorities. They went ahead and painted their accent wall before they get their furniture. Um, I love it. TV's mounted. Moving in, and how exciting is it to have a new home and to move in those first few pieces? It just kind of it takes me back to those really really fun and um, monumental days of, of starting out your life together. So this is a great space. So if you think about the actual square footage here of this room, a lot of space. You could have a huge king size bed and oversized nightstands. You've got room for a chest of drawers over here. You've also got plenty of room for storage, built-ins, a triple dresser, and you still have room for a chair or another piece of furniture or a chaise lounge. You've got a lot of space in here and a lot of really great um, functioning walls for you, which I really like that. Now back over here is going to be that primary bathroom. To my left, to your right, is going to be the water closet. That's your toilet area, so that's going to be a private little door. Back over here and behind this door is a linen closet. Yes. Thank you builders for putting a linen closet actually in the bathroom. So many times you see these, um, I won't say missed because it must be a conscious decision, but there's so many floor plans that do not have linen closets in or anywhere near that master bedroom or bathroom. So here we are. So you can see this is a standard. We did, um, they did not upgrade the um, the bathroom package. If you had upgraded that, this would have extended straight across. Instead, this one dips down, so there's the little makeup section with a big giant mirror here. They also added the lighting fixtures up above. This one comes with both the garden tub and the shower, so it's not an either or. You get both, so that is really nice too when so many floor plans are doing away with those tubs. The fact that you still have one I think is really nice, especially when you still have a nice big shower and you're not sacrificing that. So a nice big oversized shower. Again, the Listello, all part of that modern rustic design package. The darker frame on the shower, and again, all of the darker hardware. Now back behind me is going to be the closet, and it is huge. So again, nothing really has been moved in. A few little bits and pieces here and there. But this is a great amount of space in and of its own self. But if you added some custom shelving, you could really double the amount of space and storage that you have in there. So this Alcott floor plan, so again, let's talk real quick quick just as a review of the floor plan so this one that we're showing you first of all they do not have a decorated model of this floor plan here on site which is one of the reasons I felt it was really important to do this video for you obviously if you're interested I'm gonna want you to call me 407-848-8042 but if you are looking in this community it is a fabulous community out here in the Horizon West area and of the floor plans all of which are beautiful by the way this is actually the only one-story floor plan at this time, which is the Alcott, 2,080 square feet, has the option to be what this one shows is a three, two and a half plus a flex space. You can also make this a four bedroom, three bath. You can also add a bonus room up above so you have an upstairs bonus room, game room, plus a powder bath. So you've got some flexibility and versatility in this floor plan, but it is definitely a hot commodity here in the neighborhood. So if you're interested in this floor plan, I definitely give it a thumbs up. So beautiful amount of space, lots of square footage, one-story floor plan, great community here in Horizon West. If you are interested, please give me a call at 407-848-8042. As a reminder, I do not work for or represent the builder. I am a realtor here helping all of my clients just like you find their perfect dream home here in this area or any of the other areas around here in Florida. As always, please stay safe, stay well. Remember, we love you and happy house hunting.